this little video is just going to show you how to set up a score on flat.io. Flat.io is an online collaborative website where you can actually work with other people to create your own composition. So open your browser, whether it be Google Chrome or Safari or Microsoft Explorer, whatever you're using, and go to flat.io. You can see that it's very clearly up here in the toolbar, so head on up there, hit return, and it will open your dashboard. Now, if you're not a member of Flat.io, you'll need to log in. You'll need to create an account. It is a free product, so there's no risk of having to pay for anything at this point. We're going to deal with just free scores. When you do log in and you open up your program, you'll see that it'll look like this. We're going to create a new private school. And I'm going to type this in as my first composition. Now, the beautiful thing about Flat IO is you have an array of instruments which are free for you to use. You can see we have quite a large array of piano instruments or keyboard instruments. There's plenty of strings, including a full string ensemble. Your woodwinds are quite thorough, even down to bagpipe and tin whistle, if you so please. We have brass. We also have plucked strings, including ukulele, harp and sitar. There's even vocals, along with SATB and kazoo for those people looking at expanding in their instrumental repertoire. We've got only one choir synthesizer. Then there's a whole range of mallets. We've got a whole range of kit and drum options that you can see. You can do all sorts of stuff, including a drum set, which is handy. Then on top of that, there's free read. We've got accordion, harmonica, and if you want it, Star Wars set and cat meows. And they're the specials. For my video, I'm just going to set up a quick string quartet. Now I'm using a Mac. So I'm using a single press to increase the number of instruments. If I wanted four or five double basses, for example, I don't. So I'm going to use two fingers to delete that. Back down to one if I want to get rid of it altogether. Two finger press on the mouse pad will do that. On a PC, it's left mouse click for addition and right mouse click for subtraction if you want to go backwards. So I'm going to set up a little string quartet for my particular composition. You'll see it has it in the right order, say it didn't, say for example it was like that, then you could actually just drag and drop those instruments so they're in the right order. So you've forgotten to add something, you can obviously add an instrument. I'm going to hit create. Now it heads me straight to the basic information. At this point we're going to do this particular one in D minor, so I'm going to select obviously the F major key signature and I can choose whatever combination of time signature I like and I can just start to compose. So it begins with the very basic information that we might need. From here you're sent to your score. Now you'll notice it only gives you one bar. So if you're doing a score layout to begin with, then you can head on over here to measures. If you hit plus, it'll add as many measures as you wish. You'll notice that it always puts four rests in the bar so that you can subdivide and change. If you want to subtract measures, it's a simple case of removing a measure. You can select items with your select tool. You can actually click on things, bars, notes and so forth. You can actually change all the different notes. You have quite an array of note selections here as well as removing a note. You've got quite a lot of articulations. There's a number of dynamics available to you. With your measures, not only have you got plus and minus, but you can also change the clef, change the key, change the time signature, and then all of the repeats and DS and DC is available to you. You have a lyrics option. You'll notice that the cursor comes up underneath where you have selected it. You've also got a chords option. You'll notice it goes over the top. So for those students that are wanting to put chords into their map first before they do anything, you're welcome to, to, to put it in that particular way. Over here on the left hand side, if you do something you don't like, you want to undo it straight away. Then obviously for PC it's Control Z, it's Command Z on a Mac, or you can simply click the undo. Then we've got volume mix, you've got your metronome, there's your save button, you can send it to a number of places, you can print it, you can make it bigger, smaller. You can toggle to concert pitch. If you're working with a transpose score, then that's a very good handy tool for you to have. You can switch the page mode display, so if we switch that, it takes me now to a landscape score. So for those of you who are used to working in landscape, 
this might be more preferable for you and then there's also some keyboard shortcuts you can investigate then on top of that we also have the export button up here for your whole program for a whole range of your compositions you can set your tempo up here and you can play it back of course so and the last little tool here so lots of things that you have available to you here in this particular app or this particular online interface there is an iPad app you can use however I have found that the desktop version is much more user-friendly if you're used to using computer software notation programs like Sibelius or Finale or Notion or something along those lines so there is my review of flat.io